Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a support system um, with tickets in the Ticket Tool bot in Discord. So um, yeah, let's just hop right into it. <coughs> so the first step, obviously you want to invite the bot. I'm going to leave his invite link below, um, but the URL is tickettool.xyz. Um, and once you invite him, there should be a button called uh, manage uh, servers or dashboards or whatever. Uh, you're going to click on that and you're going to click on the server that you want this um, Ticket Tool bot to operate in. So that should bring you right here to this server info. Um, and we're just going to skip all this stuff and we're just going to go straight to panel configs. Um, as you can see, I've already created one because I actually had to re-record this video because the audio messed up, but um, yeah, we're just going to create a new one. Um, we're going to name it um, Open a Support Ticket here, same as the other one. You, like, you can just name it uh, whatever you want, but um, be careful because that will be the thing that will show up um, in the embed, so it sh you shouldn't name it like test or like some random thing like that. Um, support team roles that would be um, admins and moderators that you would like um, to be accessing these tickets and answering questions from members. So, um, because I don't have admins or moderators, so I'm just going to click on server owner and panel channel. If you haven't already, create a support tickets or support um, or whatever, um, and you're going to want to do that before you move on to this step. Once you've done that, uh, select this support tickets and you're going to create the panel. So once you create the panel, um, it should send this right here, <coughs> but you are not done yet. You're going to have to edit it. So let's go right here to settings and there are a couple things that you will need to edit or if you want you can edit. Um, so you're going to go to general options if you want to edit um, the support team roles, um, you are free to do so whenever you want. Um, ticket limit, that is how many tickets that someone can have um, open at the same time. So for example, if you put it to five, the member could open five tickets at the same time. Just keep it at one because you do not want um, people to just spam your tickets um, and keep you from going to actual real um, questions. So you're going to save that. Um, if you want, actually, um, you can disable one of these. I just like having this one right here, and I will disable this one, because um, when you have these two steps, basically, um, if I was to create a ticket, um, <coughs> let's go up here. So the first one would be um, two-step close, and basically I would have to react to that, and then the second one would be two-step ticket, and you'd have to react again, but I like only having one, so I'm just going to save it like that, and I'm going to, it, it will automatically delete that ticket, so. Um, as you can see, um, when I opened that ticket, it's um, it went like above important, um, so basically how you can um, edit that to um, spawn or whatever you want to call it, um, you're going to go to category options, category open, going to go to um, whatever category you want it to be in. So for example, if your support tickets is in important, then you would put it here. But I created a specific one. It's called server support. So I'm going to select that. Um, you're going to do the same thing for category close. And you're going to save those. <coughs> so the rest of this, um, it's mostly just premium. But if you want to check those out, then you can. But um, it's probably some of the most important ones is uh, ticket options and panel options. So in ticket options, you can edit the ticket message so when they open a ticket this is the message that they're going to get so user welcome to your ticket we will try and respond to your question ASAP so then we also have the embed text um, so support will be with you shortly to close this ticket react with that um, and that would be the embed so I'm just going to keep it like that. Let's close out of here and go to panel options. So we can actually edit the panel um, message too. Um, so this is the only thing that we're going to be focusing on because the other ones are just with premium. 
So to create a ticket react with that, um, so you can change this message to whatever you want to um, ask a mod a question or address a concern open a ticket by reacting with the blue so um, once you've done that you're just going to save that and that should be it if you want you can check out these again but uh, most of them are premium only so now um, we have this right it's going to edit it like in real time once you've saved all of that and um, here's our embed open a support ticket here to create um, oh, to ask a mod a question or address a concern uh, open a ticket by reacting with the envelope below so let's do that um, as you can see it will appear in the server support instead of up here and here is our ticket. Welcome to your ticket. We will try and respond to your question ASAP. Support will be with you shortly. To close this ticket, react with that. So um, we can just test this out. We can say hi. I spelled that wrong. And once we're done, we can just close it. Yes, we want to close it and it will delete automatically. So um, what I would recommend is, so once you've had all this, right, what I'd recommend is go to support tickets and give a brief explanation of what you can do here. Um, so for example, I could say um, these tickets are exclusively for questions. My spelling is not the best today. Exclusively for questions or concerns. If you open a ticket for no reason, you will be punished by a mod. So that is our message right there. Um, and that should be it. Um, if you did enjoy and you learned something and this helped out, please like and subscribe. Um, and um, all the links, the, the important links, will be in the description, such as the bot, um, my Discord server, um, and my tip link if you want to donate to me. So that should be it. I'll see you in the next video and peace.